welcome back. It has been a little while since I made a video. <laughs> I am now on fall break and I have some crafty time. So I thought I would get started on my October daily. And this year I am using Pink Odd Birds October daily prompts. I really loved her creative ideas for the prompts, especially since it seems like this October we're not really doing all that much in regards to Halloween. I mean, of course, we'll decorate and go trick-or-treating, um, but we're not really going anywhere out of town or anything. So I thought, oh man, how am I going to fill 31 days of pictures <laughs> when we're not doing a whole lot? So when I saw her prompts, I thought, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I will link her intro video below so you can kind of see what um, her prompts are and how she's kind of doing her October daily. She also has a hashtag, hashtag P-O-B-O-D. 2019 I'll double check and I'll have that in the link below as well and then that way you can see other videos of people who are also using her prompts as well as other pictures etc and that's for Instagram all right enough rambling so <laughs> let's dive in here on the first page I'm going to decorate it and put 2019 I'm going to save that for last and here's my chicken scratch of copying um, down the prompts from Pink Odd Bird's YouTube channel. All right, so let me kind of show you. So the first prompt for day one is which Halloween critter are you most afraid of in real life? And I had all of these bat pictures. And so I decorated with bats. I'm not a fan. I know they're good for the environment, like all that good stuff. Um, but I kind of feel like they're flying rats. <laughs> Hope to not offend. And if I had rat pictures, rats would have actually been on this page. However, I didn't. I had bat pictures. So rats, bats, you know. Here, I'm going to save this for later. I might write um, a little bit about this year or this um, October. But I'm going to save that for the end. All right, and then prompt to number two was make a recipe of monster stew. Um, so in Pink Hot Bird's channel, she did this really cute spread with all these different pieces and pumpkin guts and all that. Um, and I kind of went a different way. I have this new dye that I picked up from AliExpress and I thought, oh, perfect. I can make a cauldron and then have the witch's stuff with it. And then I just put my ingredients, one cup moss, two femur bones. I need, probably should have checked my spelling. That's probably not how you spell femur. Four cat whiskers, six rat eyes, and bubble, bubble and eat <laughs> is what I have. <laughs> kind of gross. But anyway, so there's my monster stew for day three. I mean day two, sorry. Day three. The prompt was use supplies in your stash to make candy corn. So I have fabric here. This is a solid piece of cardstock. And then this is this braille sheet that I have. And there's my, I kind of hand drew a candy corn and pieced it together. And it says, do you like candy corn? I do not. I do not. I am not a fan. So these numbers I actually cut out on my Cricut back in September and then I backed them. So all of my numbers <clears throat> I've already made. So that's a huge time saver. And you'll see in a minute what I've done. So um, those are for each day and then I um, wanted to put the prompt for each day as well. Okay, so day four, you're supposed to write a Halloween poem. I did not, I crossed that out and I said find a Halloween poem and in my stash I had this poem. It says, upon her broom this Halloween old dame witch goes a-riding to summon goblins fat and lean from out their lonesome hiding. And I just thought it was really cool. So I put that there. Day five, your favorite movie snack. 
Uh, I love popcorn and Kit Kats, but I didn't have anything for Kit Kats. Maybe when we go to the movies, I will slip in the movie tickets and maybe a wrapper from a Kit Kat. That was kind of my plan for this. But I found in one of my books, this is actually a children's poem book. There's a From a Popcorn Song poem, which is kind of fun that it's on the opposite page of this poem. And then some sketchy drawings from the page. Um, and it's actually right over here. I took it from this page. Um, and there's the kids roast making the, po the popcorn. So maybe I'll add these kids to this part of the flap. Hmm, I'm gonna think about that. Okay, so then I can, like I said, add some movie tickets if we go to the movies during October and stick them in there. All right, number six I think is one of my favorites. It's which Halloween color is your favorite? I love orange as far as the Halloween colors and it's all things fall and the different varieties of orange um, kind of those burnt orange I just love it so I found some things in my stash that were orange and layered them on and then that's that and then number seven draw and decorate a jack-o-lantern <laughs> there is my jack-o-lantern I added a witch's hat and a spider web um, yeah <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, number eight, you're supposed to collage a ghost. Instead, I just kind of ripped a ghost form and then decorated, added some little bling and made it a girl ghost. So there's day eight. So, and then day nine, I guess I'll go ahead and show you. Um, where would I go on a magical broom? And I said Europe, pretty much anywhere. England, Scotland, Ireland, Italy, Spain. Um, dot 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 anywhere in Europe I would love to go and I just love this pictures of the witch's ball and so that's where I'm at I'm caught up what is today I think it's the ninth so I'm all caught up but well look what I want I wanted to show you one other thing so I was having a hard time trying to keep track of my numbers and I was fiddling with them so I decided I'm just gonna paper clip them and I thought this was a good idea for two reasons a they're kind of in their place and B it kind of gave me an idea of how because I don't have 31 pages in here to kind of like plot out the pages I'm going to use as the month progresses so you'll see like I could use day 18 here and then only this space for day 19 so if I get to this part and I realize, oh man, I'm gonna need more space for this. I can kind of switch around the cards or the numbers, but it's giving me kind of a good plan of attack for my days. And then like this, I have this space for 28 and 29, and then this is my 31. And then back here, I have an, a pocket so that I can add extra goodies from the month if we do like go to a pumpkin patch or whatever as well as this pocket. And then I also want to have a place to put the kids' costumes. Um, and if we decorate the front of our house, put some pictures here. So that's kind of what I was thinking. Um, yeah, I really like this concept of not having, I mean, I can journal, right? I can journal throughout the month, but I like having it not have to be on the fourth, we went to this, or we did this, um, which I've tried to do in the past, because we're just not doing. My kids are older, and maybe that's part of it. Um, but also things kind of happen later on in the month. And my son's birthday is on the 15th, so maybe instead of her prompt, I might put like a birthday picture for the 15th. We'll see, I don't know. But that might also go in my kind of more daily kind of journal. So I don't know, I'm rambling. Um, thanks for joining me. Again, check out her links below, or the links below to check out her intro page. And give me a thumbs up if you kind of liked this walkthrough. I also am going to do a page with you. So keep your eye out for that, that's coming. Um, and yeah. Hope, let me also know if you're also doing an October daily and what kind of system are you using. All right, have a great crafty day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.